What is up guys, we are back some more next time on Extinction and we're here to break out and meet up with our mentor. Uh, you know, he just came in and opened up a can of whoop ass. Whoa, what was that? Something's going on outside. <laughs> Let us go. There's cameras in here. Are you telling me they didn't use the cameras? Look at that. None of y'all saw cameras? Like saw the mentor or Zeta walking through with all those cameras up? Oh, it's the angry minor chick. Uh, what was her name? Videl. There we go. <laughs> Come and make me fools. This won't end well. Yeah, she about to whoop they butt. Yeah. <laughs> that's how we saw it ending. Like, that's expected. By Ozar, I've never seen so much violence in all my life. What? <laughs> Girl, you, like, own dragons. <laughs> Sup? Why are you here? Because of you! Really now, what did we do? You idiots are branded as renegades! The guild is jailing anyone who is even remotely close to you! You're close to us? At least I don't have to see that weird monster anymore. Wh what weird monster? Oh, you don't know? The guild just announced some kind of super nexomon called Vados. So powerful that he can slay all the tyrants, they say. I just can't stand the sight of him flying around the world searching for tyrants. It's just so... Creepy. This is bad. We need to move now. Oh, you're escaping? Let me come with you. Can't you just dig a hole to escape? Of course not. They took away my tools. I I can see that you have your pickaxe right there. Nah, I don't have it anymore. The developers just don't have the money to draw me without the pickaxe. <laughs> Guys, we need to find Blade's Tyrant Egg. <laughs> it is invaluable if we want to ever have a chance to defeat Vados. One of the buildings here must be holding our possessions. Let's go upstairs and take a look around, shall we? I guess. Flan. Bye, fantasy flan. Curse the cowardly dog. I'm like, we don't, we don't have. Oh yeah, we do have our next one. That's kind of weird. They took everything but our next one. I don't know. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense to me. I'm like, I don't think I can go in those rooms. Lateria. A place I've been to before. <laughs> but I've never been to like this part of Lateria because you can't get past that gate when you initially come here. All right, let's see. Our stuff must be in one of these buildings. We gotta avoid the guards, though. Be careful. Wait, do I literally have to avoid the guards? Like... Okay. Oh, there's a chest there. Do we get to battle at least? Wow, they really make us start all the way over at the cell. An open cell at that? Like, you guys don't think this is like suspicious at all? <laughs> okay. Well, at least I know there was like a chest on like that left side. Oh, greed wallet. That's all that's there. I'm kind of like wondering how. Like, oh, is that how? <laughs> oh, this place looks like a storage site. 
Hey, shouldn't Atlas be able to tell if the Tyrant Egg is nearby? It's a tremendously powerful object after all. Hmm. I'll be honest with you, I never sensed anything special about that egg. What? Are you kidding me? It's a Tyrant Egg. You must be broken, dude. Whatever, guys. Let's check this place out anyway. He never sent something special about the eggs, guy. Hey, this must be it. Tyrant Relic. Ho ho, ho ho. This is perfect. With Nadine's power imbued onto the egg, we can just use it to jump over the walls and escape this place. Let's go outside and find a good spot to use its powers. Okay, but I... Okay. Okay, I thought there was like something up there at least. I'm like, I don't want to get caught. Oh, look at that. That's convenient. It's like nobody hears this like amazing stuff going on outside the wall. <laughs> Have I made myself clear? But, but sir, Amelie's orders. My authority is as good as Amelie's. If she can put blades here, I can get him out. It is that simple. Didn't they betray your guild? Why would you release them? This is Lataria. Since when do you care about the guild's business? Last time I checked, you were just outlaws, not the guild's lapdogs. We pay you to keep our prisoners, and now we're paying you to let them out. Don't think too hard. <laughs> you guys need to make up your mind. On my authority as Grandmaster, I hereby pardon every single one of them. They are nothing but innocent and naive tamers. Okay. <laughs> look, bro, I made it out. <laughs> hey, look over there. <laughs> they just escaped. How is that innocent and naive, huh? I also pardon them for escaping. <laughs> Thanks. I, uh, well, okay, I guess. They're going to be like, so, uh, how did you make it out? <laughs> Come with me, Blades. I'd like to have a word with you. So you're not thrown off that I just, like, escaped this prison? Like, I'm, like, one of the first few to ever do that? I think. Gotta get these minerals. Alright, then. What were you doing in Cadium Blades? Edward, do you actually believe that Vados is a good idea? Even your own people are skeptical about that monster. That is not for you to decide. Vados is indeed fearsome, but he is also a reasonable creature. You should talk to him sometime. We should talk to Vados? <laughs> you will doom us all, Edward. Blades, I have pardoned you simply because I respect you as a tamer. Your great deeds alone are, are what have earned you a second chance. Please do not waste it on such a silly crusade. I won't tolerate another misconduct against the guild. Keep your head down for a while, will you? Do nothing reckless. I will not do anything that's not reckless. Oh, right. Our mentor wanted to meet up, meet with us, didn't you? I heard that the observatory is somewhere to the east. Okay. Let me just go here and heal up. Excuse me, excuse me. Gotta get these minerals. Like you can see I've been here before. Well, that's it. Always get the minerals, guys, whenever you see them, or the shards. Because they respawn over a certain amount of time, and you're going to need this to complete a lot of side quests as well as...
uh, to make certain Exomon traps. Long, long ago, the King of Monsters, Omnicrom himself, tried to overthrow this world with the help of his children. Victory in our grasp. So weak, so feeble, the puny humans were at our mercy. Their fate was ours to toy with, and it was sure as fun as heck. Okay. Oh, how sweet indeed. The age of Nexamon was about to begin. Along with Father, we would cleanse this world from the human disease at last. Truly, memories to be relished. Okay. But a traitor among our brethren mach machinated, machinated, machinated our demise. I don't know how to say that word, guys. <laughs> the one with too soft a heart took pity on the lowly mortals. Dina forsook, forsook us and did the unforgivable. <laughs> that little girl doomed her own kind. The absence of a king drove the Nexomon of the world into madness, which ignited a war among tyrants for millennia to come. Only a true heir from Omnicron's bloodline can bring order and restore the natural balance of our planet. But our king was slain long ago. Omnicron lives no longer. And yet, Omnicron's bloodline lives on. The story goes on. Mm -hmm. We did not foresee this. But Dina, the great traitor, had a child. She bared a true heir to Omnicron's infinite power. And that heir is standing before me. Yes, indeed. Blades, you are Dina's son. You are Omnicron's descendant. What? You are the future king of monsters, our one and true ruler. Wait, we, we're a tyrant? Is that basically, what? So I can transform into a Nexomon, is that what you're telling me? Are you sure about this? Hurry up, please. My very presence might attract dragons to this place. So that's why the dragon's been following me, because I'm actually a tyrant. I, because even before we got the the tyrant relic, the dragon like came after us. This building, this is a human orphanage. Dina, you are leaving your own child, Omicron's heir, in a place that reeks with humans. Blades will grow with the humans. He must learn to accept them. The future king of monsters, the supreme Nexamon, rotting in a place like this, and I'm to pretend that he's one of them. Come on, I'll never allow Blades to grow vile just like Omicron. Our father's hatred against humanity will end with Blades. Okay. <laughs> and how am I supposed to explain to Blades about his supernatural powers when they show up? The other kids at the orphanage will surely be terrified. Give him this. So this relic don't even mean anything. <laughs> what the heck is this, a tyrant egg? A fake tyrant egg. You will lie to him. Tell Blades that his powers are channeled from this object. Good gracious, you can't seriously think that your own son is dumb enough to believe that. That kind of hurt. Still, there is one more problem. When Blaze becomes of age, the dragons will realize that he's a tyrant. They will hunt him down over and over again. I would like Blaze to join the guild to ensure his safety. Working with humans will make him see what father couldn't understand. And then, one day, Blaze will be strong enough to claim Omnicron's throne. A new king of monsters, who loves both humans and Nexomon, will rise. Okay, this is a nice dream you have, Dina. I respect it. I like how they do this, like, fuzzy, like, television static to kind of, like, resemble uh, a flashback. A flashback. You want me to what? It is essential for Blaze to believe that he's human, Fenrir. You want us to pretend that we... That we are powering up this fake tyrant egg that's your idiotic plan? I can't afford to have Blades figure out his true nature too early. If we're not careful, Blades will go corrupted by his sheer power, just like Father did. This is stupid, girl. I won't play fool for you. Come on, Fenrir. If you want Father's bloodline to continue, then this is my one condition. You guys will play along. This is our last chance to make a difference. So all these people are our uncles. Our aunts and uncles. This will be your redemption. Okay. So does that mean in episode one that Tyrant was us? That is so hilarious. So I shall trick Blaze into thinking that Omnicron's heir is inside that fake egg? Hmm. 
I'm gonna call it something super dumb like Tyrant of Light or whatever. <laughs> will you help me, Eliza? Eliza? Blaze will seek your guidance and I will need you to misguide him. That's so messed up. I'd love to see how this develops. <laughs> I'll have Blaze go and visit each elemental shrine. Then your siblings will teach him how to control his own powers. Fine. Let the act begin. Wow, this is actually like a well thought out like plan to trick us. Do you understand now, Blades? Amelie did nothing wrong. Her dragons are indeed perfect. The dragon outbreak from 15 years ago was not an accident. It was caused by your own birth. The dragons aren't insane. They are afraid. They acknowledge you as the strongest of all the tyrants, the true heir to Omicron. When a dragon attacked you at the woods, we realized that your powers were starting to surface. You were sent on a lame journey to meet us and learn how to control these powers, all under the pretext of hatching a fake tyrant egg. Sooner or later, you'd be strong enough to become the new king of the Nexomon. Yes. Upon your ascension, the tyrants will naturally stop fighting. Peace will finally be restored. But alas, Vados was quite unexpected. That aberration is programmed to hunt tyrants until the end of days, including you, my dear. If you are slain by Vados, then Omnicron's bloodline will truly end. There is no telling what would happen to the natural balance of the world. Okay. What the heck is going on? Vado's power from this far away? That creature just keeps getting stronger. Okay. Now that Vados is like more complete now, it does look kind of cool. Citizens of Param. This, this is Vados, the ultimate tyrant. Do not fear, my comrades. For Vados is the child of mankind, forged by science and nothing else. Under our control, he will slay every single accursed tyrant that dares stand in our way. His power is limitless, and so is our future. We will cover in fear, or we will cower in fear no more. Please, stand with me and Vados. Together, humans will retake the world. The world. And we'll make an epic beginning. A new fresh start. And a subscription to Epic Blades Gaming, if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit it right now. Thank you very much. Excuse me, young tamer. Haven't you heard? It's an emergency. All tamers in the city must meet at the barracks. Right now. Ugh, there's no time to explain, alright? Just come with me. The observatory is now closed. Am I to turn around? Oh, okay. I was like, we're not going to turn around and be like... What did you say? It is exactly as I told you, a tyrant that has been spotted to the east. The guild will test the extent of Otto's power against that tyrant. You can sit back and relax. You dare mock us? Are we unable to hunt the tyrant ourselves? This is Lataria. We have slain dozens of tyrants. And the guild appreciates your service, but now you are obsolete. As a token of our gratitude, I come with a warning. Stand back. We don't know how destructive... We don't know how destructive can... We don't know how destructive can Vados be. Listen up, guild slave. We do not care how powerful your abhorrent Nexomon thing is. This is our turf and we do as we please. If a tyrant is nearby, we will take it down like we always do. Your fancy guild and Vados can get lost. <laughs> They're like, yeah, our general. <laughs> Hoo-ha. <laughs> of course. Do as you please, general, but please be careful. Shut up, Edward. Get out of my city. Take it easy. We're leaving. Travel east from Lataria to fight the tyrant. Wait, why are we doing the quest? Like, I thought he just said he could do it. This makes no sense. Hey, Blades. Are you going to help the Lataria hunters with that tyrant? I heard that there's a good bounty. Oh, come on. Didn't you listen to Edward? All we have to do is relax and let Vados do his thing. Ugh, whatever. I'm out. Don't count on me. Oh, okay. I like how they're having him slowly walk out. <laughs> you know, he's right. Vados may look all scary, but so far he hasn't gone berserk or anything. Well, isn't he because he only listens to Amelie's commands? Oh, well, it can't hurt to take a look. I also want to see how Vados fights that tyrant. They said that the tyrant was spotted far east of the city. 
Okay, so we just have to head in that direction. Excuse me. They really kind of made it a pain in the butt to, to leave the city, huh? Yeah, where the heck do I have to go to leave? Leave east, but then it's like, make sure you go north, 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 west, north, 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 west, east, and then you can go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> minerals, or shards, I keep saying minerals. Why do I keep saying minerals? I don't know, they are minerals, right? Cause I'm like, I can't remember if I fought that guy or not. I don't think I have. I know it's not in there. Oh, okay, yeah, look at that. Whoa, did the fighting already start? We're not there yet. We gotta hurry up if you want to see that tyrant. See, I've been in that cave. Um, I can't remember. Was there anything more east of this? Yeah. So I think in there, there's uh, one of the, like those locked rooms for the treasure. Yeah, when I first came to this bridge area, there's three guards standing here, so you won't be able to get past it until you progress further in the story. Okay. That's a pretty cool Nexomon, or Tyrant. How ludicrous, how poignant. Latarius hunters sure don't live up to their name as a sad charade. I can't read today. You poor Cretans. Petrum is not the defeatable tyrant you are used to hunting. I ought to punish you for that disappointing display. I will take your city. I will take your people. Your coin and your dignity belong to Selene, renegade of sand. Okay. All hail Selene. Oh, my, my. Are those spears? You brought spears to t a tyrant fight? What are we going to do, Petrum? They brought spears. <laughs> Get them out of my face, Petrum. Oh, it's dropping boulders? <laughs> oh, good gracious, Petrum. You are just too strong. I can't remember the last time I actually fought on my own. Then fight us on your own, blasted renegade. S stop relying on a tyrant like a coward. Nice try, sweetheart. Petrum, bless those fools as well. I need to hurry up. If I can take over Lataria, it will serve as a shelter from Vados. Okay. And who might you be? You don't look like a Latarian, hunt. You're a guilt tamer. Ozar be praised is exactly what I needed. If I can take you hostage, the guild will surely back off. Amalai wouldn't dare to attack if you're here. <laughs> yeah, about that. Don't take this personally, little one. Oh, snap. I was ready to fight, too. That was going to be so epic. What? What did you do? Why is Petrum frozen? How? Stay away from me, freak. Oh, now we're going to battle her. Okay, we'll battle you, but uh, we're going to do that next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you have a like for the video. Helps with the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel. Helps with the channel a lot. With that said, stay sharp. Later.